So if you've seen my mini Puyo lesson on beginner's game sense, then you should know that being able to compare your board and your opponents and seeing how much Puyo they have can help you make a decision on whether to immediately fire back or go for an extension and go for the counterattack. Let's take that idea, flip it around a little bit in this example between Shuichi and Kirby. So in this round, Shuichi is actually going to go for an aggressive attack here. They're going to go for short chains to try and just beat Kirby to the punch, like right now, in order to seal off Kirby's main chain before Kirby can get anything off. Shuichi is going to be continuing the pressure to continue harassing Kirby to just keep preventing Kirby to access their main chain. But there are risks with rushing down like that. Because if you're not careful, if you don't play your cards right, your opponent might have something like this. Let's take a look at the boards real quick. Shuichi has a 2 chain that's about ready to fire right now. While Kirby needs a red, which is about to come down right now. And this red will set off a 4 chain. It goes from reds to blues into reds again. This blue will actually come downstairs to these blues down here. And these yellows will also power. So this is a powerful 4 chain instead of just a simple 4 chain. Now remember, a 4 chain is about a red rock's worth of garbage. So a powerful 4 chain is going to send quite a bit more than that. Hello? So when you see that the boards are very different like that, you can actually opt to just go for the attack. A 4 chain beats a 2 chain. And Shuichi doesn't have any resources to deal with the 4 chain that's coming down his neck. And therefore, he loses the round. So, when you're in this situation, be mindful about how many Puyo you have. You might actually, even though it's only just a 4 chain, that 4 chain might already just take the round and inflict significant or even lethal damage to your opponent. A little tip about rushdowns, actually. If you're opting to rush down, be mindful of how your opponent's shape of the stack is. If it's uneven like this, you might actually want to reconsider going for an aggressive attack like Shuichi did. Uneven stacks like this can actually help absorb garbage and keep the chain accessible. You can check my mini Puyo lesson on building, de building defensively to see how that works out. So that's it for today. If you got any questions, feel free to raise your hand in the comments below. If you want to see many more Puyo lessons like this, go ahead and please hit the YouTube things down below so you know when we get a new lesson coming up. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then. Take care. So in this round, Shuichi is going to go on a very Greg, very Greg, 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 Greg,